We want them to be themselves, and I told them, be yourselves and say what you want to say. Don't worry about me, and I'm going to do the right thing, whatever it is. I may be right, and they may be right, but I said, be yourselves. What do you say, Steve? Let them do it. I could have said, do this, say that. I don't want that. I want them all to be themselves. Okay, and on repeal, Everybody okay? Yes, sir, Everybody on repeal good? and replace. Thank you. Thank you. Say hello to Harvey. Yeah, don't get, don't get, don't get. Replaces going great. Well, that was uh, Mr. Trump with Steve Harvey, the uh, popular television personality, uh, game show host, uh, uh, talk show host, as well as a nice shot of his tie right there. We recently had Robert Frank on the show to discuss different things. Uh, different things, yeah. yes. I was, uh, yeah. Let's listen to Steve, shall we? Both transition teams, Obama's transition team and Trump's transition team, and uh, it was really a really cool meeting in the beginning. We talked a lot about golf and things like that and uh, people we knew and people in common. And uh, and then we got down to the crux of it. Uh, he's uh, introduced me to uh, Ben Carson, who's now the new head of uh, uh, housing for urban development. And uh, we're going to team up and uh, see if we can uh, bring about some positive change in the inner cities which I felt was my only agenda, and he agreed, and he wants to do something. And uh, he realizes that he needs some allies in that department, and he, he seemed really sincere about it. I mean, Chicago being one. Chicago is definitely one. Another one they want to start with as a target is Detroit. Uh, ben Carson expressed that, because quite naturally he's from Detroit. I want to do some things with on all of the major inner cities to see if we can bring about some change and help some of these young people out. And so that's why I'm here, and it was a successful meeting, and uh, EC seemed really sincere. Thank you, sir. Steve, Steve, uh, I love your jump program. So is this like something like a jump program? Like this is like a, an initial jump into politics, Steve. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> it's not my jump into politics. I ain't going to pass a background check, but uh, I... Uh, it's just me following uh, orders from my friend, uh, President Obama, who said, Steve, you got to, as he told everybody, get out behind your computer, stop tweeting and texting, and get out there and sit down and talk. So I stepped from behind my microphone, and I came and talked to the guy that's going to be the 45th President of the United States. I did what I was supposed to do. How did that meeting go about? Who went in touch with yeah. me? Uh, the transition team from President Obama and the transition team from Donald Trump got me on the phone about a week or so ago. No, I'll, I'll be turning 60 on Tuesday, and my wife is taking me far away. So I won't be at anybody's inauguration because my wife said no. The Trumps being on Family Feud. <laughs> yeah, against the Obamas. That'll be good. Or how about the Clintons? If I could set it up, it'd be skyrocketing for the Ravens. Yeah. Is it worth getting Cindy Chicola something as cool as in the I would, you know. Uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm handling everything pretty good, you know, it was an, of course it's, a, it's an honor to be invited to talk, and I think that's the only way that we're going to unify our country, we got to talk, you know. President Obama said you got to sit down and talk, and I really enjoyed the conversation, he seemed really sincere, he's a genuine person in the meeting. Do you have any lingering things you still want to talk further about, you're still concerned about, you, you, you haven't quite heard what you want to hear yet, or well, I mean, you're exactly on the same page with you? For this, we got off to a great start. I think it could be the beginning of something, but for them to invite me here to talk about a specific problem and thought that I might be able to help. I know I got a big radio show, you know, I got a lot of people listening every morning, so I've always been concerned about uh, inner city problems because they're huge. My mentoring problem, uh, excuse me, my mentoring program has been a part of this type of, and that's what I want to see happen, and they were spot on with it. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.